Hey guys, welcome to the Tiger Tech. On this video, I'm going to be doing a little demonstration of the interface of the Google Nexus 1. Don't mind my voice guys, I am a little bit under the weather today. But this video is long overdue. If you want to check the unboxing or the first boot or other videos about the Nexus 1, please make sure you check out my channel. So, let's go ahead and do this. So, let me just go ahead and awaken the phone from sleep. This may be a two-part video since there's so much to talk about with the Android platform and the Nexus One. Here I have my unique unlock pattern. You can set any unlock button to unlock the screen. So once you unlock the screen, it welcomes you to the home screen. You can have up to five home screen with the Android 2.1. Even with the new 2.2, you can also have five home screen. So this is my five home screen right there. And right here we have the widgets. So as you all know with the Google Android platform and the Nexus One, you can have widgets. This comes with any other Android phones. So the widget that I have here is the power control widget, which allows you to have ease of access to your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, auto sync for your email, Twitter, Facebook and stuff. So let's say if you want to save battery, you can turn that off. And even your brightness settings. So even right now I have the brightness at the lowest and it's very vibrant. The screen is very vibrant. And that's just your home widget right now. So let's say if we want to customize and remove the widget, we can just long press and the app launcher button over here will turn into a garbage can. So we can drag that and that's gone. And now if we want to bring back the widget or any other widget, you can long press and go to widget or you can hit the mini button and go to add and you can go into widget before I show you the widget I'm just gonna show you guys what else you can add to the home screen if you go to shortcut this will give you an array of options to add to the home screen so the options include direct contact so this will give you an option to direct dial any particular contact you wish or you can set up a contract so if you click on the contact it will I'll give you an option to text message go to the person's house or email or Google talk or call and there's all the other stuff bookmarks from web browsers navigation Gmail labels so any particular labels on Gmail or playlist and other stuff so as you download more applications you'll have more options with this or you can even have an application as well we'll go back to the widget so here I have a lot, tons of widgets and applications do come with widgets as well. Particular applications, for example, Facebook, Twitter and other, like for example here I have Task Manager, it does come with widgets. So right now we will add another widget. Uh, what shall we add? Let's add the YouTube widget. Since we're on the topic of YouTube, let's just go ahead and see how the YouTube performs on the Google Nexus one so here we have the YouTube so this is the home screen so most viewed most talked about most recent and let's see if we go into my account and if we go to view all this will give you my videos favorites and subscribers and stuff so if we go into my videos I'll just play a quick video to show you guys the video quality of the next one. So this is a quick video. So we'll exit out of there. Here what it's asking me is because I have two different launchers which I'll show you. Uh, since Android is an open source platform you can have the option of having you know a lot of customization, customized features on your phone. So I have two different launchers which I'll show you later. I have the regular launcher and the launcher pro. So I'll just go into my regular launcher right now which is my 5 home screen standard 2.1. So you can move around the applications that you have on your home screen just like on an iPhone but the only thing is here we can move it anywhere. And here we have the live wallpaper running in the background. Let's say if I want to change the live wallpaper there's two ways of doing things. This all wallpaper that I have is called Earth rotate. Let's say if we want to change it, we can go into long press 
on the phone and go into wallpaper and go into live wallpaper or the particular any picture that you have or pictures that comes with the phone or you can also do it another way go into wallpaper here and go into live wallpaper we'll choose another one so as you can see the phone is very fast taking full advantage of the um, 1 gigahertz snapdragon processor so this one is a falling leaf type of wallpaper which I really like you can like, click on it and as you can see here it gives you a panoramic view so like every time you move the wallpaper it just moves along and another thing about the Nexus one is the ability to add pictures thumbnails for example I have my mom picture here you can add any type of pictures there even on top of a live wallpaper another widget I have here is Google search so there's two ways of doing things you can do a voice search or you can just click on it type in or even if you press search this will search any of your phone so phone contacts apps anything so let me just do a little voice search right now this does have the voice recognition software which you can choose in different applications including the mail text message so it does do a fairly good job of reiterating your voice so let's say if you're driving you can just do a quick voice text saying oh, I'm driving call me back so let me just demonstrate this feature pictures of the CN Tower so there you go guys it just searched for pictures of the CN Tower